Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and happy 2016. I cannot believe we're in the new year already. Like, is it just me or do you guys feel like as you get older, like the time just flies even faster? It's, it's insane. Like, I'm a year from graduating, like what the hell. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel and if you guys are just checking out my channel for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below um, so you can keep updated with the rest of my videos. But I just want to give a huge thanks to all of my subscribers and to all of my supporters for just giving me and showing me so much love through 2015. Just the fact that there's almost 20,000 of you guys that have clicked that subscribe button to support my channel is just like so, so crazy. And I wanna thank each and every one of you guys for just, you know, showing me some love. And I really, really do appreciate it. But today's video is the top beauty products of 2015. A lot of you guys always, always ask me what my foundation or what my favorite foundation is, my concealer, you know, my lipstick color, or brushes or whatever all of you guys ask me that so many times especially on snapchat so I know that a lot of you guys have been looking forward to this video so here it is and I don't want to do too much blabbering I'll save that for the end again um, but if you guys are interested in seeing all my favorite uh, products of 2015 these are all tried and true ones that I have seriously been obsessed with um, but yeah if you guys are interested in seeing my 2015 yearly beauty favorites then just keep on watching so the first product that I want to mention is a one true love honestly this is the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of this. And this summer, I finally just repurchased another bottle and you can see I pretty much used the entire thing. I'm just obsessed with this stuff. Basically, I spray it on after I finish my entire face and it just like melts everything together and makes it look seamless and like airbrushed like in person and on camera. Um, so it's just a great product overall to have. The next product is probably no surprise to you guys. This is the Bed Nye Banana Powder 3 ounce bottle. Um, I use this a lot and you can barely, you can even see like I've literally only used that much. So this is gonna last me a super, super long time. But I love this for baking my under eyes. If you guys watch my videos a lot and my tutorials, you know that I use this basically every single tutorial. It's just my favorite powder and honestly anytime I wear it my makeup stays on my face like it bakes it in place and that shit ain't moving like your makeup will look exactly the same if you're going anywhere like it's just it's the best under eye setting powder slash all over the face if you're just baking your entire face it's just amazing um, and I really really love it and it's actually pretty inexpensive I think I got this one for like $24 but as you can see I only use like a tiny tiny amount um, and I've had this for like seven months now so you definitely get your money's worth out of this and I highly recommend it this is the uh, MAC mineralized skin finish natural in dark um, and I use this to set my entire face um, and I also use this every single morning when I'm going to class. I'm in university as many of you guys know um, And I just don't have time to like do my face or anything So literally I just take a brush and brush this all over my face and it gives a very very light coverage and it has like You won't be able to tell or anything, but it has like kind of shimmers So when you put it on it just makes your face look glowy um, And it just gives a beautiful coverage. It's very very light coverage, but it's really great especially for like setting foundation or concealer um, and I highly recommend it it's great this is the Maybelline infallible pro matte foundation and I tried this in the spring or summer of 2015 and I just fell in love like this is my favorite foundation from the drugstore honestly my favorite foundation in general it is just like the best formula it stays on I mean it says 24 hours I haven't actually worn it for 24 hours because that'd be really bad for my skin but I would assume that it probably stays that long because I've worn this through a wedding um, which required a lot of dancing and everything and hot sweaty people around me um, and this stayed on so it's really really great so my next yearly favorite is probably no surprise to you guys as well this is the sleek contour kit I use this in every single makeup tutorial I've been doing lately because first of all I don't really have any other contour product but even if I did this would be my favorite still um, and it comes with a highlighter oh that is powder it comes with a highlighter as well though um, and the highlighter is gorgeous for deeper skin tones um, but I just love this contour powder like it blends so seamlessly you can see it over there the fact that it's only like $7.99 on Amazon 
you can't get any better than this. I will have a link to um, this product as well as all of the other products that I use in this video so you guys can purchase them directly. This is Max Blush and this is in Pinch Me. This is my all time favorite blush. Um, I'm not a huge blush person to be honest, but this is just like my all time favorite and I use this um, every single day pretty much. Yeah, I use it every single day, which is why I hit pan. Highly recommend it if you guys are just looking for like that everyday blush that will go with every single look, like every single you know makeup look, whether it's natural or super glam. Mac Pinch Me will be your best bet for sure. So now I have a couple concealers um, to show you guys. These are the LA Pro, or sorry, LA Girl Pro Conceals. And these are amazing. This one that I have over here is actually the orange color corrector. So this one I use kind of around my mouth and a little bit under my eyes. This next one I have is Fawn. Um, and this one I actually, I don't use any of these concealers like as actual like concealers, if that makes sense. Like I use this um, color to carve out my brows. Um, yeah, so whenever I do my eyebrows, I just kind of use this to carve it and they come with like a brush on the end anyways so I don't even have to get like another brush or something all I have to do is kind of just carve them out and it works great the next yearly favorite is the Essence Eye Stage eyeshadow base I do use this a lot in my videos as well um, this is just your typical eyeshadow base um, and it's like $3.99 from shoppers um, I'm sure it's like cheaper in the States as well um, but this is just really really great it really keeps your eyeshadow on all day but what I uh, particularly like it for um, if you guys have deeper skin tones sometimes you know that it's a lot harder for shadows to kind of show up on your skin um, because sometimes they just kind of blend in with your um, natural skin tone but this as you can see is like a creamy it's like a creamy beige. So when you put it on, it kind of just creates a really nice canvas. And I just love it for that because then like the colors that you use on top will really, really show through. This is the Maybelline um, Fit Me Concealer in 30 Cafe. Again, this is one of the concealers I use in pretty much all of my tutorials lately. But this is just my favorite concealer. And I know a lot of other people love this on YouTube. And it's because it's amazing. Like it doesn't give you that dry, flaky under eye. Um, and it's not dewy either. A lot of people say it's dewy, but it's not. It does dry, but it kind of is very skin-like. So it looks like your skin, it feels like your skin when you set it. It doesn't move anywhere, and it's super inexpensive. Um, and I just really like it. Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, A plus in my book. This is the um, Skinny Brow Liner in Universal Dark. Seriously, guys, the best eyebrow pencil I've ever used. Um, I mean, with the exception of this pathetic looking spoolie on the end, I would hardly even call it a spoolie. It's kind of like a comb, I guess. I'm not really a fan of this side, but the actual product is amazing. Like, it's exactly, it's pretty much exactly like the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, just like super, super cheap. Now, I'm not too sure if Annabelle is sold in the States or in America or anywhere else in the world for that matter. I'm, I'm not really sure if it's just a Canadian brand. It's just my favorite eyebrow product. And my cousin Sada actually introduced me to these. Um, I know you're watching right now. Thank you so much for making my eyebrows on fleek in 2015. You're the real MVP. And what I actually use this pencil with um, is the NYX um, eyebrow pencil in dark brown. And this is what it looks like. I don't like using this on its own. I only like using it in conjunction with the Skinny Brow Liner. I just like the undertone of this and I don't know, there's just something about it. And when I use it, my eyebrows just look like amazing. And I don't know what it is to be honest, but ever since I started using these and these two together, like I've been getting so many compliments on my brows and they're just amazing so I highly recommend these and then what I use to set my brows which have also changed the game is the Maybelline Brow Drama um, Sculpting Brow Mascara and mine is in dark brown um, this has a slight tint to it but honestly I just use it because it kind of lifts the hairs um, away from my eyebrows and away from like all the gunk and powder and pencil and all that stuff it just makes them look very feathery and just like very natural looking there's like a little ball at the end I don't know if you can even see that but I don't know I just really really like it and I, I would just recommend trying it because it's really great and I find the tint um, is just enough 
to just coat my brows a little something more, you know, so it looks a little more full. Next couple things I have are by ColourPop, and these are the ColourPop Super Shock eyeshadows, and this one is in Lala, and it is a gorgeous, gorgeous, um, rose gold color it is absolutely gorgeous and I do have a tutorial using this if you guys are looking for like just one color to get I would highly recommend Lala the second one that I have um, is on the rocks basically just a bronze you can kind of see how much I've used it um, and I use this on days when I don't want to go too glam on my eyes but I do want a little something something uh, because the color kind of naturally fades into my skin tone um, it's right over there so it's a really, really pretty brown with like gold, gold reflex in it. It kind of has like purple reflex in it as well. It's just like a gorgeous color and all over the lid with just like a crease color. So, so bomb. I'm going to have to like do another tutorial or something because I really, really like this. I find the easiest way to apply these is with your fingers. So if you guys are, have them already and you're having trouble applying them with like a brush or something, honestly the easiest way is your fingers and it applies them the most pigmented but yeah these are five dollars a piece so honestly you can't really go wrong and especially if you live in America it's like free shipping over 30 bucks so I'd recommend you give Colourpop a try for sure. I of course had to include um, the Colourpop Ultra Matte, what are these called? The Ultra, Ultra Matte Lip. I have four colors or four shades and I'm actually wearing two of them today and this is LAX um, and this is like my favorite out of all of them to be honest I'm obsessed with it and then this is Avenue uh, but I'm wearing a mixture of LAX and Avenue today and I'm just obsessed with them like they're seriously amazing and then I also have Limbo and Tool the only con and it's kind of I mean it's kind of a bad con to have when it's a liquid lipstick but these are super 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 drying Honestly, even on my lips right now, they're super drying, but I overlook it because I love the color and I love how I don't have to keep reapplying it throughout the day because this shit is like cement. Like once it's on, it's on and honestly taking it off is a struggle. What I did personally is I just bought one, so I bought LAX first and I tried it on and I was obsessed. Literally that same night I went and bought like three other colors, so um, yeah, I would just recommend to give one a try if you guys are still a little skeptical, but again, they are $6 a piece. They have a ton, a ton of colors. And I have another liquid lipstick to mention as well. This is the Sephora, um, I believe it's actually called a cream lip stain. Um, and this one is in Blackberry Sorbet. Um, so I'm not really sure if this is marketed as a liquid lipstick, but honestly, it pretty much is a liquid lipstick. But this formula is the best formula of liquid lipstick ever like it is so moisturizing your lips feel so plump and like like you don't even have anything on um, now the only reason why I don't have like other colors of this is because the other colors aren't too flattering there is one red that I do want to try but other than that I mean there's not really too many colors that I'm interested in so I really really wish um, that in 2016 they come out or this year um, they come out with more colors or shades because I'm obsessed with this formula and I'll give a swatch um, of this. I actually wore this today when I went out to the mall and I got so, so many compliments. Like, it was insane. I was like, I should wear this color more often because, I mean, everyone's loving me off today. But this is the color right over here. Oh, if you guys are interested, I will have the link down below. It is amazing, trust me. This one is my baby, honestly. This is MAC Chestnut Lip Liner. People that know me on a day-to-day -day basis, know me personally, know how much separation anxiety I have with MAC Chestnut Lip Liner. I, I wore it under this liquid lipstick today. It is just my favorite lip liner ever, like ever, 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 Seriously guys, if you have a deeper skin tone, maybe even a little lighter than me, get MAC Chestnut Lip Liner. It will change your life. That's all I'm going to say about it, because I love it so much. Thank you, Mac Chestnut. So the next favorite that I have seriously has changed my makeup game this year. This is the NYC um, Liquid Eyeliner. I think that's just all it's called, to be honest. Um, and this is in black. <sighs> I don't even know where to begin. Basically, Nikki Tutorials um, like was talking about this on her channel, so I'm like, all right slay eyeliner all the time so I'm gonna try it out because it's only like three dollars and not really losing much so I went and tried it and if you guys haven't tried it please try it it's so awesome and I do have a 
um, way lighter tutorial where I talk more about how much I love this so I will link that down below let's move on oh the beauty blender you guys already know how much everyone in a mama loves this um, this is the best makeup sponge I've ever used the best makeup tool to apply foundation powder and concealer in general um, it's just Nothing compares, guys. It really doesn't. Like, if you guys have never tried the Beauty Blender, you will not, you will not be able to value how much, how much fleekness comes out of this thing. See, I'm not even making sense anymore. That's how great it is. Honestly, I have the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, and it's great. I love using it, but I always go back to my Beauty Blender. So this has definitely, definitely been my favorite of. 2015 for sure and if there's one product that I had to pick out of all of these that really changed my makeup game it would probably be this this would be super close the NYX liquid liner the NYC liquid liner but definitely the beauty blender is something you gotta try okay this video is getting super long now so I'm gonna speed through all of this so I feel like highlighting has been the highlight of 2015 <laughs> no pun intended um, but yeah my two favorite highlighters has been the Mac um, what is this called extra dimension skin finish in shaft of gold <laughs> funny name I know um, but this is amazing for deeper skin tones um, basically it is just a bronzy gold color I'll give a nice swatch on my hand it looks like this. It looks kind of dark, but once you kind of blend it in, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous color on like my skin tone. But this has definitely been my favorite of 2015, along with, and you know I'm not going to finish this video without mentioning Becca's Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. Guys, I have a whole video on this, so I'm literally not even going to talk about it. Um, but this, this is just amazing, and that's all I got to say. It's, it's amazing. And this makes my highlight on fleek. Oh, show. These two together, I'm wearing both of them together right now. <sighs> so, so good. As I'm sure a lot of you guys noticed that I use a lot of these gold top brushes in my makeup tutorials and a lot of you guys ask questions about them. These are by Jessup from eBay. I will have them linked down below as well. Um, this is part of the 15 piece brush, brush set and although they're not the best brushes out there, I do want to let you guys know they're not the best brushes out there. There's definitely better, but if you guys are not wanting to spend too much on brushes and want still good quality brushes, I highly recommend these. The only con I have to them really, like they haven't even sh uh, started to shed on me, the only con is that um, the glue that um, like keeps these two together always like comes off. Like the top just kind of falls off, but honestly um, super glue can save that. Um, but these are like 20 bucks and you get 15 pieces. And they're just amazing. They're super, super soft, and I just love these brushes. And I use them in pretty much every single video, and I just can't get enough. These are amazing brushes. Highly recommend them. And real quick, I just want to talk about these two brushes. These are by Morphe, and this is the M505, and this is the M330. I don't know why it took me so long to try these brushes, but guys, they are amazing. If you're gonna get two brushes from the entire Morphe site, these ones are all you're gonna need, trust me. Um, this one is super great at blending eyeshadow. I pretty much use this all over my eye. Like I use it for my transition shade, I use it for the middle, I use it for pretty much anything. It blends out amazingly, they're so, so soft. This one is a little smaller and more tapered, but it's super fluffy. So I use this um, in the crease when I'm trying to um, deepen up the shade a little more. These two are amazing, they're super inexpensive. I think these were like five bucks or something. So I highly, highly recommend them. And I only started using them at the beginning of December, but I'm seriously like in love. They are the bomb.com. The one mascara that has really stuck out to me this year has definitely been the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I was never a Maybelline girl. I was like a true L'Oreal only mascara girl. Um, but this has definitely changed my mind. I decided to try it one day because it was five bucks on sale at Walmart and I was like, hello. This is just an amazing mascara and I've gotten a lot of my cousins and my roommates to try it. It's just, it's awesome. It's an interesting brush. It kind of like curves out this way and kind of curves in this way, but it really just does an amazing job at kind of creating like a wispy eye kind of look and um, it lengthens really, really well and 
I don't know, I just really like it. And it has more of a wet formula, which I personally love. Um, so if you guys are looking for a new mascara, I would highly recommend this. Um, it's amazing and I've repurchased it tons and tons of times and it's just it's my favorite mascara and I use this all the time now this guys if you know me personally you know my obsession with chocolate I have no self-control when it comes to chocolate and when I saw this palette to be honest I kind of just wanted to get it because it looked like a chocolate bar but um, honestly the colors are gorgeous if there's one palette that I tell you guys to get from Sephora it will for sure be this one because it has all of the shades you basically need to make like a lot of looks. Um, this is the palette that I reach for when I'm going for a supernatural look that I don't even want to like think about because this has all the shades that I would want to create that look with. The best part is it smells and tastes like chocolate too. Yes, I said it. Done. But these are all Makeup Geek shadows with the exception of this one right over here, which is actually also my favorite. I'm just going to mention this. This is an honorable mention. This is the Inglot, um, what's this called again? Free, no. Oh, HD Sculpting Powder in 512. This is, uh, I use this for a bronzer, um, but before I started getting more into eyeshadow this summer, um, I was using this as a transition shade pretty much in every single video, so I'm sure if you guys were watching me since the summer, this doesn't look new to you. Makeup Geek shadows have definitely taken the cake for the best quality eyeshadows I've ever tried. Um, they are so amazing. If you guys have not tried them, I highly, highly recommend them. I have a whole video on this if you guys want to see swatches and everything, so check that out. I couldn't mention a whole beauty favorites without mentioning the Morphe 35 eyeshadow collection. Um, this one in particular is the Morphe 35O palette which I'm sure everyone in the Mama has heard about it. Um, this is what it looks like. It is just the most gorgeous, warm-toned, neutral eyeshadow palette. Honestly, if you guys are into warm tones, this is the only palette you will ever need. I mean, this shit's always sold out, but if you can get your hand on it, I highly recommend it. It is the key to success. I don't even follow DJ Khaled on Snapchat, but it is. <laughs> Okay guys, so I think we are finally done mentioning my favorites of 2015. This video is probably like 25 minutes long, I'm hoping that I can shorten it into less, but who knows, you know me and how much I love to blabber, but honestly I felt like I just, you know what, it's the beginning of the year, I might as well kick it off with a bang. Who cares if I'm posting long ass videos because I know my true supporters will still be watching this, so thank you so so much. And as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I love you guys all so much. You guys seriously just make my days so much better. I love reading all your comments um, and getting Snapchats from you and, you know, interacting with you guys. Um, it's truly an amazing thing being a YouTuber because, I don't know, you just feel so much love. Like, in a world full of hate, you just feel so much love. Hashtag bars. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, all of these products will be linked in the below bar in case you guys are interested in purchasing them. Hopefully I can remember all of this stuff because it is a lot. But leave a comment down below what your favorite products of 2015 were or what your favorite moments of 2015 were or anything of the sort. I just want to hear about um, your year last year and how amazing it was. I have a lot planned for 2016. Um, inshallah, you know, my YouTube career, career, I could hardly call it that, my YouTube channel will grow a lot this year and, you know, we'll have a bunch of more supporters to join this family, um, but from the bottom of my heart, I just want to thank each and every single one of you for just supporting me all throughout 2015 and even before that, um, you guys truly mean the world to me. If you guys are just checking out my channel for the first time, of course, please hit that subscribe button so you can keep updated with the rest of my videos. And if you did enjoy this long ass freaking video, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up and let me know you did so that I can continue making more videos. So thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you have an amazing 2016. Let's make this year just full of successfulness and happiness and strive to be the best person you could be um, and with that being said I will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>